Now, this is a great way to start off the episode. And word of advice, if you're going to Monarch for the first time, going through Cascadia is hell. I'm talking constant monsters trying to kill you within seconds. So my advice would be to... What? What are you talking about? I think I'm gonna be sick. Are you all right? No, I just stepped in a dead man's blood, and I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. Oh, that's if you're disgusting. Going into the do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. He specifically said not to go to the lower one on the right. So that's what I'm going to do. Lower one on the right. Let me see. Wow, that's insane. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, sorry, sorry. Are you okay? Me, was all. Okay. What a gruesome way to die. I agree. No one should die like this. This is disgusting. Disgusting. What? What even happened here? It's like... Obviously, there was some sort of struggle, but... What really took place? Like... Let me see if I'm able to find some clues. Several ragged outfits, all of the same cut and color were stuffed into the suitcase. Huh. Interesting. Is there any way for me to examine? No. So, I'll go... Oh, what's this? This betting slip lists some increasingly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Connellist. It's from left field toss ball betting. Huh. Investigate left field toss ball betting. This is a very interesting side quest that I have stumbled upon. And I am going to make sure I actually complete it. It's not every day you stumble into a new town and meet your first dead body, so... <laughs> Why not? I mean, welcome to Outer Worlds, that's for sure. Monarch, Monarch is very spooky indeed. I mean, look at the clouds, radioactive, dark, gloomy. It makes Edgewater look like a haven at this point. But like I said before, when you go to Monarch and you go through Cascadia, my biggest advice would be to sneak as much as possible and run as much as possible because one way or the other you're going to be dealing with those creatures try not to get yourselves killed Ooh, you're the new face wow you must be up on all the latest toss ball games so who do you follow wait don't tell me you look like a hammersmith thunder fan no glacial age manix um, okay. Um, I'm not here to chat about teams. That's a shame. Tossball's just about the only good news we get around here. When our frequency's not too clogged up, anyway. So, what can I do for you? I found this betting slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow. Even if he did have terrible teeth. What? Okay. Ooh, um. What do his teeth have any? What does his teeth have anything to do with? They were pretty distinct. Hmm. Monarch doesn't exactly have a thriving dental industry, and Isaac seemed to get stuck in all sorts of bad habits, dietary and otherwise. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other wow. times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. So, who did he owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. 
They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Well, let's go meet this gang. I mean, if they are the ones responsible for this guy's death, then... She's always cranky. No, I mean, more than you were. We definitely got to put them in justice, because that's really messed up that they maybe could have had something to do with his death. All right, so I believe the gang could be over here somewhere, hiding in the corners. Wrap mask and canid eyes, right here. Okay. Anyways. Please, will someone help me? My boy's in trouble. Uh, I'll get to you later. One quest at a time, please. One quest at a time. Should I sneak? They're not saying anything. Alright, I guess I'll just walk on through. Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. Um, hi to you too, bitch. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. That's nasty. I know you murdered Isaac. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. I'm making it my business. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? You bullied people long enough. If you know what's good for you, You'll clear out and never come back. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine. We're going. This ain't worth it. Wait, that's it? I didn't need to fight them? Damn, my charisma level must be on point. I am truly impressed with myself. All right, let me help this woman because she is she looks like she's about to shit her pants. What's going on? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Oh shit. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. How do you know that? Um, your child's missing. Where did you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the woman to save your little ducky. And I was right. Talking in third he person. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. That's weird. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, oh, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? Why would Tucker run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. Yeah, you're... should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Where would he have gone? He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them. But did he? No! 
And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already. You are so fucking dramatic. Calm your fucking tits. What were you saying about the Iconoclast? Those low-life degenerates leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there fighting for the greater good. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who'll listen. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd knock them all upside the head. Where is Amber Heights? That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse, the thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. Or that he never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road as we speak. Angus, you need to or, chill, bro. Or maybe marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs and made him snort him. You have oh, such an imagination. My sweet baby. You need to calm down. I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Okay. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. I mean, it's part of growing up, but okay, I guess. That was so weird. What do you think about this? Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Um... I'll think it over and get back to you. And what about you? What do you have? Something you need? We'll talk later. Alright, so... I'm going to go... Step lively, Ms. Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. Look at him being fatherly to her. That's so cute. Alright, let's go to this guy right here to tell him about what happened to... Poor Can Isaac. I get another advance, Mr. Nandi. Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Okay. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Um, that's very generous of Celia, you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now. Who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? I'm... Me? I'm... Charting my own path, going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. <sighs> If I have to eat one more weird science project paced off as food in this sprat fucked colony, I am going to stab yes, someone. That's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments erotic now, I disappointed had that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom but it seems we're back to the drawing board 
if you're free of the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Damn. Well, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Mr. Vicar, I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. <laughs> Yes, girl. It's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. Okay, so what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Returning to the board is your only chance if you hope to survive here on Monarch. That doesn't mean it'll be easily achievable. Indeed not. No worthwhile plan was ever simple. That's what I always say. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Okay, this lady knows what's going it's on. It's true. Our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. How long did it take you to figure that you need to defend your city? Not long, but the devil is always in the details. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Okay, so this Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Okay, so where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Okay, so I'll, I guess I'll go get your Bolt 52. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to Marauders and Raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Before I go, I need to ask you about something. What can I do for you? Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? It was Elijah and his hooligan friends. I ran them out of town. I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them. Eventually. Of course you would have. Of course I would have. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Okay, so I'm looking for an information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. Hmm, tension. How do I get to Devil's Peak? You'd head south along the road and look for a mountain to the west. Not that I'd advise it. It's a terribly dangerous trek. But, if you insist on going, I'd recommend taking a local guide. Nioka would be a prime candidate. If you can keep her sober. Hmm, a drunk, okay. I've got to go. Alright, so in this case, let me go and find Nioka. Oh, 
you must be the infamous Nioka. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap's stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn rapt out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? I'm Denise. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Um... I'll stay and chat, but you look like you've had enough. Another in a long line of damn fools trying to cut me off. I'll buy my own poison then. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to Brass Nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. <laughs> okay. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Um, I'm not in the mood to fetch things. How much time do you need? More than you have, I suspect. I plan to sit here and drink until I find myself awoke and sober. Fine, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well... I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. You mean caffeinoid? That stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? All right, I'll be back. All right, let me give her some stimulants to wake her up, even though it doesn't do much. I gotta admit, though, Monarch is way bigger than I've imagined. Way bigger than. It smells like wrapped in here. Oh, it does work. Way bigger than uh, Edgewater, that's for sure. So this is the... Am I not able to get in? If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Ouch. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like. Hmm? Oh, she's hitting on him. I'll keep that in mind. Not. Okay. Hello, dearie. Why, well, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Thank what you. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Um. I've been asked to pick up a caffeinated supplement. And what a helpful young lady you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Who's your lucky friend, dearie? Actually, the pills were for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Shit. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little... Extra. Oh, that's just awful. Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? 
I don't know, Auntie. You'll have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. Orange, you a saucy thing. <laughs> I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Oh, shit. She is hitting on me. Uh-huh. Why don't you show me a thing or two? Much as I'd love to. My rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment. And I'm You're all out of my medicine. You're what? But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Oh. It, um, that's private. Now, now, there's no keeping secrets from Auntie Abigail. I'll tease it out of you one way or another. Mm -hmm. Also, I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. After all, I have to keep track of where our little pills wander off to. Um, why don't you just write down my name as lots of bits? How's... Ew, I'm not going to pay that. Rather nosy, aren't you? Now, now, dearie, it is my job after all. It's for Nioka. Oh, her. Whoa, your demeanor it's changed. Not my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Wow. Like the rest of us. That is blackmail. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. But you just did. There. Let me see. Doesn't anyone else on Marnock have caffeinoid? If so, I would love to know where. Sublight supplies don't come cheap. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. Mm -hmm. But there's not much I can do. Mm, damn it. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. I thought you were in charge around here, Auntie. You sure ought to be. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. So give me the key. Ah. Forgetful fellow, huh? Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll eventually. Where can I find this Dr. Williams? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. What? The poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. So he's dead? Uh, where's the graveyard? The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll have to figure this out on my own. Chin up, dearie. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. I have to search through a dead body to get a key to then get these motherfucking pills. Nioka, you're such a pain in the ass. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.